Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're gonna go over what does a systems architect do? So you may have heard that term, an architect. Well, you've heard an architect in terms of building stuff, but what does a systems architect do in the, in the realm of IT? So there are other job titles out there, other job responsibilities such as a systems admin engineer, network engineer, storage admin, storage engineers. You've got a whole different group of individual guys that look after different parts of an IT infrastructure, right? So the systems guys look after the servers, look after the virtualization environments, you know, look after, you know, your antivirus stuff, do all the monitoring, the management of your server fleet, for example. The network guys look after the network infrastructure, they look after the routers, the switches, the firewalls, the proxies, the load balances, all that sort of stuff could be done by a network admin slash engineer. Then you've also got the storage guys. The storage guys are the ones who would look after the, the storage units, the SANs, the, you know, the storage area networks, the NAS units, all those sort of things. They set up the RAID groups. So these are all the different individual groups. Then you've got the big brother of, those, of these guys is the systems architect. He's the one who has good exposure and knowledge and joins all of the dots together, right? So the systems guys, systems are engineers, admins, these guys, they know how to join all the dots in their realm, in their, in their, in their, um, in their systems realm, right? In, in the servers, in the VMware, Citrix, all that sort of stuff. They know how to do all that. The network guys know how to join all the dots in the network stuff. The storage guys know how to join all the dots in the storage guys. There could be cross, you know, cross contamination between them. So they, they may know bits of each other. Then you got the architects, they're the big guys. They're the ones who know how to join all the dots together. They're the ones who know, okay, we need to build, we've got a project. We need to build this new project, right? So they're the ones who are gonna be talking with developers. How, how, do we, how do we build this project? What are the requirements? You know, what are the requirements for this? Do I need different IP ranges? Do I need different subnets? Do I need different VLANs? You know, if I need different VLANs, how are the VLANs gonna communicate? What ports are open on the firewalls? What sort of routing needs to get done? What context needs to be done on the firewalls? What rules need to be opened, right? What is the traffic flow? How does it flow? How does that then turn into your um, VMware side? You know, let's say if we're talking about virtualization, do I need to conf you know, configure virtual switches? What do I need to configure on the virtual switches? Do I need to configure separ separate um, uh, VLANs, separate port groups on these virtual switches in the storage environment you're looking at things like SAN. What is the capacity? Do we need more capacity? You know, what sort of RAID level would we recommend for this application? All these sort of things. So they've got a good understanding of A to Z, right? A to Z from the start to the finish, all of the dots between all of the different infrastructure components. The architect knows all of it. All right? A good system architect should know all of it, should be able to join all the dots. He doesn't have to have all the knowledge and understand all the nitty gritty details of each one and how to do each one, because that's why he's got the systems engineers, the network guys, the storage guys underneath that he can talk to and work and then they can go ahead and do all their bits and pieces to achieve the goal, the vision, the project plan of the systems architect. So that is my general overview. Happy for you to comment and disagree or add to this if you think that their role could be slightly different. But look, um, give me a thumbs up for this video if you did find it helpful, if you did find it, find it informative, and subscribe to Digital by Computing for a whole bunch of more videos.